So, uh, sorry, I'm going to sneeze, I think, in a minute. No, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> so, you said, yeah, 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 go ahead. No, sorry, go it's ahead. gone, it's gone again now. When I was getting towards, uh, you know, sort of GCSE time, and I was thinking about what A-levels to do, um, I kind of chose physics, and I'm not really sure why, I just kind of enjoyed it. Phys and it goes well with maths, which was what I was really good at, particularly. And then when it came to university, I was originally going to do computer science actually, and I was looking around uh, all the options, and one option was to do computer science with astrophysics, and I was enjoying physics. I've been interested in space, I guess mainly in that kind of geeky science fiction way, you know, building a Starship Enterprise or whatever would be really cool. And, and it's just a fascinating uh, field. When I got to university, I started studying both uh, computer science and astrophysics, and I, I just decided that astrophysics was the way I want to go, so I changed to a single honours course. Uh, I never really look back. Sometimes you get the odd, you know, flippant comment about, uh, you know, can you tell me about black holes then or something like that, which, which you know, I will do if I can. Um, sometimes you get people sort of go, oh, oh, you're quite clever and, and, and sort of act all intimidated, which I actually find a bit annoying because actually, you know, I know there's this reputation physics has for being hard, but to me it's all about what you're good at. And I would be rubbish at some of the subjects that other people consider to be easier than physics. It's just what you're good at. So I, I, I don't like the idea that people suddenly react as if you must be a god because you can study this. Um, it, it's something though that, that it, it sounds exciting and it is exciting but, but it's not always immediately easy to express to people what it is because then they ask you what do you do on, during a typical day and you say well I'm sat in front of my computer and, and, and at that point it kind of glazes over and, and you have to be careful to make sure you, you really emphasise you know oh, I'm, I'm, I'm looking at light from halfway across the universe rather than I'm, I'm looking at this uh, interesting little window on my computer that's got some dots in it that mean a lot to me but not to many other people. I mean if you, if you look at what you can do with your life I guess. I mean, there are all sorts of really worthwhile things, obviously, that, that you can do. Um, generally, you know, going out and getting water to people who don't have any and stuff. But, you know, when I look at a, a lot of the same more domestic jobs and, and you think, you know, sitting in an office, uh, doing someone's accounts or, I don't know, being a lawyer. I can't, I can't think of a job at the moment. They're, they're, they, I'm sure they're great, but, but hey, I get to look at stuff from the other end of the universe. You know, you cannot get much cooler than that. And... And it almost combines your hobby with your job as well. You know, I got into, and you'll find this with a lot of people, you ask why I got into uh, astronomy, what got me into space, and it started off as something that I was interested in as a kind of casual interest, became a little bit of a hobby. Uh, I guess, like yourself, you're interested in, in science, and we've seen with at CERN recently, when people do exciting things, it captures everyone's imagination. And I get to do that for my job. I get to spend my job doing this stuff that sounds really cool, and actually, most of the time, is as cool as it sounds. This week, for example, I've actually spent an awful lot of time hissing incredibly vulgar words at my computer because things are not going quite right and I've got some problem that you don't understand. And like with any job, um, some of the mundane part uh, and some of the, um, you know, the process is not always as exciting. But it's that point when you get to the end and you just look at what you've got and you say, wow, that's great. And sometimes I think, you know, there's a personal level as well when you can look at something and say, hey, I did that. Uh, and that's, that's incredibly satisfying. And uh, I mean, I'd be lying if I said that I love every minute of the job. Like, like with everyone, some days you just think, ugh, I don't want to be here today. But other days you go home with that real buzz. Because, you know, I mean, I think it was um, Rutherford when he discovered, um, yeah, when he discovered uh, stuff about the nature of atoms, the fact that they're made up of huge gaps, basically. Uh, I think it was he who went home and just casually said, at the dinner table to his to his wife and his children, I've made a rather important discovery today, or something. You know, something just as as kind of laid back about that about something that completely changed the nature of the universe. Now, although I'd love to come up with some Nobel Prize-winning discovery, that's probably not going to happen. But still, it's great when you go home and, and my wife Beth says, "Well, how's your day been today?" And you say, "Oh, fantastic! I've got such and such done, and it's and it's great." And and those moments actually do come around, I think, come around quite a lot, and especially in our area, because there's always something new happening, because these things are going off all the time, completely unpredictable. It's, uh, it's such a dynamic field to be in. Any job can, be, can become a chore. I love my job because I find that whole thing interesting, and that gets you through those times that, that, are, that, are, that are getting you down. Don't do it just because it sounds cool. Do it because it's what you want to do and because it's what, what's in your heart. And. Uh, and then I think you'll, you'll make it, I hope.